Hello and welcome to Fox Comics and Games in beautiful downtown Marion, Illinois. And we are unpacking this week's comic book order. And these comics go on sale Wednesday, uh, February 14th, which is Valentine's Day, or as we say here in the comic store, Valentine's Day. More than that later. Uh, we're going to start off with our first comic is Superman in Action Comics, and that is issue 997. We're three away from Brian Michael Bendis' debut, and that's the variant cover, which we have them available as well. Um, that's what the variant cover looks like. Uh, next up is All New Wolverine, issue 30, from Marvel. And then up next after that is the Amazing Spider-Man Annual, uh, 42. Uh, and that's the variant cover on that. And then next up after that is the Amazing Spider-Man Renew Your Vows, issue 16. And after that, from Archie Comics, we have uh, Archie, number 28. And uh, that's kind of the new version of Archie, been updated for the times. Next up from Marvel, we have Avengers, issue 680 in the No Surrender series. And then from Aftershock Comics, we have issue 8 of Baby Teeth. And then we have a DC title will be next, Batgirl and the Girl, Birds of Prey. Uh, and that is issue 19. And then from Marvel, we have Ben Riley, the Scarlet Spider. And that's issue 14 of that one. And then a great title up next from Image. Uh, this is The Black Monday Murders. Uh, Jonathan Hickman's the main driver on this one. Uh, but this is a fantastic, uh, glorious book. If you've never read it, the art's fantastic. The story is uh, very, very uh, fantastic. Everything about that book is what it should be. Uh, next up from Valiant, just in time for Valiant Times Day, is Bloodshot Salvation, Issue 6, uh, being written by Jeff Lemire, and that's the standard cover. And if you pre-ordered it from us, you get the pre-order edition, which has bonus content in it as well as a, uh, a cool cover. Then after that, we have Issue 154 of Marvel's Cable. Uh, also from Marvel, up next we have Captain America, Issue 698. And then another Aftershock comic comes Cold War, number one. And then another uh, Image comic, issue four of Dark Fang, a uh, vampire uh, book that they have running that's pretty decent. Uh, excitedly, up next is DC's Dark Knight's Rising, and this is The Wild Hunt. It, I believe it's a one-off, um, but it looks fantastic. Most of that series has been. And just in time for Valentine's Day, Image brings us Death of Love, Issue 1. I think we've all been there before. And then next up, we have Marvel's Old Man Hawkeye. I'll slide that into screen there for you. Old Man Hawkeye, Issue 2. Seems to be selling very, very well, so I'm guessing they must be doing a very good job with it. And then also from Marvel is Old Man Logan issue 35 with a great cover on the front. Uh, certainly in the running for the uh, cover of the week. And again, just in time for Valiant Tynes Day from Valiant Publishing, we have Nin Ninjack, or Ninja K as they have, issue 4. And that's the standard cover. And then that's the pre-order with the additional content uh, in it. That's what they look like. And all you need to do to get those is to come in and uh, to put it on your pull list. And that's it's that easy. Uh, next up from DC, we have the new Superman issue 20 in the Justice League of China. And then from Marvel, we have Ms. Marvel issue 27. Also from Marvel, we have a, uh, they're revisiting the two-in-ones, and this one is The Thing and The Human Torch, 
and these have been pretty cool. It's issue three, kind of the fate of the four uh, sub-series that they're running on that. And this is what some of the um, variant covers look like. I think that's fantastic. That's probably going to be the cover of the week, but we're still voting. Uh, next up from Image, uh, from Ed Brubaker, uh, Kill or Be Killed, fantastic book. It's number 16 in that series, and one you need to get. If you're not reading it, there's something wrong with you. Next up, from Image, um, Mark Millar and John Romita, Kick-Ass, Volume 1. Um, and it's the a new run going in Kick-Ass, a series you're all familiar with, I'm sure. Uh, and they're phenomenal. Uh, the books are way better than the movies. So if you've enjoyed the movies, come get the books and uh, read like you're supposed to. Um, and these are some of the variant covers that are out with that to kind of give you an idea of the scope. They have a Frank Quietly and um, blank cover variant if you're going to a Comic-Con and you're going to have somebody draw on that for you. And then there's the black and white sketch variant. Uh, the other cool thing about Kick-Ass is when they release this new run, they re-release the previous trade paperbacks, uh, Kick-Ass 1, 2, 3, and 4, the Dave Lazinski years. And, and they're phenomenally well done. Bonus content in those. You need to come in and see them. They're gorgeous. They're wonderful. It's everything you want. Uh, next up from DC is Justice League of America, issue 24, as I get the hurry-up signal from the cameraman. Uh, after that, we have Dark Horse, Jenny Finn from Mike Mignola, um, and it is issue four of four, so that's the last one in that series. Uh, we still have some of the uh, previous three in stock if you're looking for them, because we do order a fair amount of back stock here at Fox's. Uh, next up from Image, it's the final Invincible, the end of all things, um, and so it's... According to them, the final issue of all time. So we'll see how well they stick to that. It's kind of like the KISS final tour. Uh, next up from Oni Press, Invader Zim. Issue 29, 28, I'm sorry. Bad notes. All right, next up from DC, we have Hal Jordan and the Green Lantern Corps, issue 38, Zod's Will. Uh, next up, also from DC, Gotham City Garage, and um, you can see the young lady there on her bike. That's kind of a little off-putting. Uh, next up from DC is The Flash, issue 40. And again, this is kind of the variant cover on that same comic. Those are available as well. Uh, Marvel's up next with Falcon, issue 5. We have variant covers on that as well. And also from Marvel, Doctor Strange, issue 385. And then after that, we have from DC, Batman Detective Comics, Night's Fall. And that is issue 974. And then that's the kind of give you an idea of what the variant cover on that looks like. Pretty wicked. And let me see. Then from Marvel, we have Despicable Deadpool. 294, and after that we will begin the next run with an image title, Port of Earth, uh, Zach Kaplan, it's issue 4 of this, you may remember his Eclipse series that he did before this, very very nice futuristic run, uh, this has been a pretty good run as well, uh, very much worth reading. Uh, Marvel is up next with The Punisher, issue 221. And then DC comes next with Red Hood and the Outlaws, issue 19. And that'll give you an idea of the variant cover on Red Hood and the Outlaws. Next up from Image Publishing, Rumble, from John Arcudi. And DC Comics is up next, issue 22 of Scooby Apocalypse. And you can see Shaggy and Scooby there. And I believe Shaggy's saying, hey, Scoob. Uh, next up from DC, issue one of The Sideways. And that is the new age of superheroes. Then we have Frank Cho's Skyborn, 
issue 5, and that is of number 5. And then from United Plankton Pictures, we have SpongeBob, issue 77. Clears up a lot of the unanswered questions from SpongeBob 76. Then from Marvel, we have Star Wars Darth Vader, issue 11. A very good run. Written by the same guy that writes our next one. Star Wars Poe Dameron, issue 24. And then next up from Marvel, we have Star Wars issue 1 of Thrawn. And then up next we have from DC, Suicide Squad, issue 35. And this was one of the covers, a uh, variant cover that's available for that, issue 35 of Suicide Squad. Also in the running for best cover, we kind of like the smiley face on the hind that Harley's carrying there. Um, although, probably a little bit better variant is coming up. We have issue 18 of DC Supergirl. Very, very nice. And as you can see, a wonderful variant cover on that. I think that's just screams the 90s, doesn't it? Uh, next up from DC, Titans, issue 20. And that's the Titans issue 20 variant. Marvel is up next with Weapon X issue 14. DC is up next with Wildstorm Michael Cray issue 5. Next up from DC is Wonder Woman issue 40. And this is the variant cover on that. Always a strikingly beautiful um, variant cover for Wonder Woman. Uh, next up from Marvel, issue 21 of X-Men Blue. And then we have from Image, Youngblood, issue 9. And then after that we will have a zombie tramp uh, that is available. I didn't pull any of them because I don't believe it's NSFW. So I didn't really want to be showing that, but Zombie Tramp is in as well. Uh, we hope you can make it down here. These comics go on sale at 10 a.m. on Wednesday, February 14th, Valentine's Day, where every Valiant title, graphic novel, and trade paperback and comic is 20% off all day tomorrow. Thanks so much. Look forward to seeing you in the shop.